Welcome to Spotlight Bruton, and I am in my element today out here <laughs> by Burnt Corn Creek, one of the most beautiful creeks in our whole region. We want to invite you all to be part of what's happening in Bruton, Alabama, and Burnt Corn Creek and Trail is a big part of that. They're the new outfitter that has just signed a lease with the city to renovate the old Shell Station downtown and make that their headquarters, but they're already doing weekend float trips. So we are here today with Chris Fields, who's one of the partners that's involved in the endeavor, and we want to learn more about it and find out everything we can so you can come and join us and have fun down here in Bruton, Alabama. Hi, Chris. How are you doing today? Hi, Connie. I'm great. The weather's wonderful out here right oh, now. Oh, it's perfect, and I'm really, really tempted, even though I'm not really wearing clothes for it, just to jump in that water and cool off anyway. I may do it at the end of the show, so you'll get a special thing that will make our video viral. How about that? <laughs> Well, tell me a little bit about yourself, Chris. How did you wind up here in Bruton, Alabama? Um, I was I was almost born here. I was born in Tampa, Florida, but um, within six months of my having been born, my parents moved back here to Bruton. My mom um, and my grandparents are from Bruton. Our family is actually from... Uh, we, we settled here around the 1850s, up in North Bruton, where we still live. Uh, my mom was a high school teacher for 35 years at Miller, and um, I just, I, I always loved Bruton, but I knew that I had needed to, to get out, and when I graduated from high school, I went to art school and ended up basically traveling the world, um, living in Thailand and in New York City for a little while, among other places, but about... Four years ago, I ended up spending a lot of time in upstate New York, and I've always been interested in outdoor sports and was doing a lot of farming and river runs and rock climbing and all sorts of stuff like that up there. And I decided that I was going to try to move back to Bruton and see if I could not kindle a little bit of that experience down here in this absolutely beautiful wilderness that is way underutilized. So... Here I am. Wonderful. And I've been so excited just to get to know you over these last few months. I know that you're a talented cook and chef. You know how to do so many different things, but I'm so excited about just the opportunity to be able to get on the creek and have people here with us and, and doing that. And the, another part of your business is equestrian trail rides and things. Tell me a little bit about what you'll be doing there. That's right. Um, we have, um, over the years, cut approximately um, seven miles of trails on Burnt Corn Creek, and now we have Eric Douglas and um, the city of Bruton helping us to develop um, the CCC Park across the street, well, across the creek from um, Jennings Park to do um, further horse trails and walking trails and um, really utilize this wilderness area that we have over here. We have a contractor who's working with us who has a stable of um, 14 horses um, from advanced rider horses down to what we call plug horses, which, I mean, you could put a baby on and point them in the right direction and um, the baby would arrive safe and sound just like the male. So um, we're excited to have him. He's going to be coming in in the beginning of October and we'll start those runs um, at that time. We have a couple more hurdles to get through as far as um, permits are concerned, but once we have that, we'll be up and running with the horse rides. But right now we're fully operational on the waterways with kayaking and tubing and um, canoeing. Tell me about the different float trips people can take. Um, well, we have, we have two tube trips. Uh, we have what we call a family fun run, which happens between this lovely beach here at O'Bannon and the beach at um, Jennings Park. For $10, you can rent a tube for all day. You can utilize the beautiful boardwalk between the two parks, and you can just make your lazy way down the creek here and come back up, walk up the boardwalk, and do it again as many times as you want. And you can also just take the tube and play down there at Jennings Beach as long as you want. Um, so we have that. We also have a longer tube ride for the people who want to really get out there on the creek. And that's usually an average of about three or four hours. Really, it's that long if you don't stop. But everybody wants to stop because we have amazing deep swimming holes and there's, there's little spots to fish along the way and great places for picnics. 
So um, that could be anywhere from three hours to, you know, all day, six, seven hours if you wanted it to be. Um, and we have private access down Burnt Corn Creek that we put in for that. We also have private land further up in North Bruton where you can go kayaking all the way down Burnt Corn Creek, which is a really fun ride. We've left a lot of obstacles in the way. We've left it wild. We've pulled some of the more dangerous snags, but it's a real kayaking adventure. And kayaking is super easy to do, but it's really, really fun once you get the hang of it. You can go really fast. You can turn on a dime. It's, it's lovely. It's, it's a little bit of a rush when you hit some fast water. We don't have real rapids here, but we do have some spots that are tight in a pinch and can be really, really fun on a kayak. Really challenging, too. Some of those, yep. especially early on in the flood, I've taken this trip several times, and he's been gracious enough to allow me and some others to take trips down the creek to help clean up. There's some really fast switchbacks in there around some of those things, so if you, you will really be challenged. And you may get wet, just depending on how good your balance is, but it is a great trip and a lot of fun. Yeah, it is a great Plenty of, of YouTube fun. moments if you happen to have a way to film a lot of that. <laughs> Indeed. Now tell me about Murder Creek. Do you have runs on that yet? We do have runs on Murder Creek. We have um, a, a all-day run, which is a canoeing or kayaking. You can't go on tubes on that yet because we don't have a shorter access point for Murder Creek. But we are utilizing the boat launch at um, Kirkland, which a lot of you might be familiar with. People have been going down there for generations. Um, we have canoeing and kayaking putting in at that point. It's a minimum of six hours of paddling. So it's a, it's a more serious ride, but if you really want to get out there and great fishing out there, great scenery, it's, it's one of the most interesting bodies of water that I've been on. And I've been on a lot of bodies of water. Um, it's, it's absolutely beautiful. A little bit cypress swamp, a little bit um, just Grand Alabama River, um, lots of wildlife. It's just lovely. Um, the kayaking for that is a little bit faster usually than a canoe, um, between four and five hours to do it as a straight run through. Um, but again, when you rent from us, you get the thing for all day, so you can spend as much time as you want to on How much creek. does it cost? Like, if I wanted to rent a kayak and do that run, how much would it cost me? A kayak is $35 for all day. Um, that's, you know, you could put in, if you wanted to, at 9 o'clock in the morning, and we would pull you out at dark. It's just $35. We do have overnight trips on Murder Creek, and that's... Um, $50 for the kayak and $90 for the canoe for overnights. The canoes, though, on murder are $50 gotcha. for the canoe ride. And you can fit three people in a canoe, so that's a, that's a great deal. Absolutely. You can take three people on the water for 50 bucks. I mean, you divide Sounds that awesome. up, and that's that's easy, easy that's for people cheap, to pay for. Cheap it is and wonderful. Cheap. cheap and wonderful. For memories that will last you a lifetime. Yeah. How about group rates? Do you have group rates for your things? Yes. Um, for tubing... Over 10 people, we give 30% off. For the vessels, what we consider vessels, which are um, the kayaking and the canoes, it's 30% off for five vessels or more. Wow. Which is, I mean, that's a significant discount. That's outstanding. And I know there are the, the, high, school, the uh, high school reunions are coming up. Graduating classes will be coming back in October. And I know several of them are really interested in coming down and doing some float trips while they're there because the weather will be just about perfect for yeah, it. Yeah, it absolutely, absolutely will. Now tell me a little bit about the equipment that you bought. I know you've got some wonderful kayaks for people. We have um, two types of canoes. We have what we call a scout canoe and what we call a guide canoe. Guide canoes have um, really comfortable seat backs. They have a deeper draft and they're a little bit wider so they're super, super stable. They have a small built-in cooler and a built-in um, box for a gearbox, waterproof gearbox so you can bring your phone and your camera and all along with you if you want to. Um, we also have a scout canoe which is what most people think of when they think of a canoe which is the regular bench seats and you know a little bit rocky but the kids like that because kids like throwing each other out of canoes absolutely so um our kayaks are 10 feet long and 8 feet long um the 10 feet long ones 
they're not really youth and adult kayaks, although people consider them that. Really, the difference is um, a weight distribution difference. If you take a shorter kayak, you're going to have a faster trip. You're going to have a shorter turning radius. If you want a sport kayak, you want the 8-foot kayak. 10-foot kayaks are really good for an easy run. Um, with an experienced kayaker, they can be super nimble as well. But um, they're, they're just an easier way of kayaking. Absolutely. Um, then our tubes, we got the Rolls Royce of inner tubes. We found a really amazing company called Tube Pro that makes um, th their their specialty is um, whitewater rafts. So they build those um, those square rafts that you're used to seeing when people go whitewater rafting. Well, our tubes are made out of that same stuff. Um, super smooth, super comfortable. Doesn't heat up in the sun. They have built-in cup holders. Wow. I mean, these these are a lounge chair for the river, and they're they're fantastic. <laughs> comfort, comfort, absolutely. All the comforts of your living room, except you're cool and you're seeing wildlife all around you. We also have cooler tubes, so you can um, you can have your your cooler up to a medium-sized cooler um, to come along with you. You just tie it to the back of your tube and take your time. Oh, is there anything better than tubing in the south? I haven't found it if it is. And, and now, something really exciting that I just heard about this week is mm -hmm. you're planning this great, big, huge, wonderful event for October 12th, which is also homecoming weekend for T.R. Miller and, and people in this area will all have that on their calendars already. Tell me what's supposed to happen in the park downtown. Um, well, a lot of people know that Art in the Park is happening on the 12th. That's happening during the day. It ends at 4 o'clock. When it ends, about an hour later, in Jennings Park, we are putting on a concert. Yay! We've got two bands booked so far, the Volks from Mobile, which are an amazing um, Beatlesque band. Um, their, their music is deeply rooted in, in the, the old Beatles, not the psychedelic Beatles, but the Beatles that were the, um, the rockabilly fun rock and roll Beatles. Um, I want to hold your hand exactly. style Beatles. They're a really great group of kids and they're super excited to come play. And then we have our own Den of Thieves who are going to be playing for us. We have um, a strong following here in Britain yes. because those guys know how to rock and roll. Yes, they do. And they've been playing for years. They are super seasoned, wonderful artists. And it's possible that we might have a couple of other performers that we're working with right now to see if we can hammer out some details. Do you think this thing could build to be an annual thing? down there? Well, that's what that's what I hope. Um, me and the people who are working on this right now are not looking at this as being a one-off deal. I think um, because so many people come into town around reunion time, we pick this time to to try to offer people something to do that's, that's out of the ordinary and to bring people back to Bruton and to get people to love Bruton again and exactly. make, make things that are are fun and are available for the entire family. When the sun goes down and it gets a little darker, we want things that adults are going to want to do. We want it to be friendly and open to whoever wants to come participate. Um, we want to make things um, accessible. accessible for everyone and um, entertaining for everyone. This sounds almost like a revolution, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> we might be starting something That's here. That's a dangerous right. word to bandy <laughs> about. It's a dangerous <laughs> word, but you know how I love danger. <laughs> well, tell me a little bit. Um, you said it starts, so it'll be about 5 o'clock in the evening. It'll be about 5 o'clock. We'll start out probably with um, some some nice 60s garage band dance music on a playlist, maybe with a DJ. And then um, around 5.45, 6 o'clock, we'll put our first band on. Second band will go on an hour, hour and a half after that. Um, so it'll be it'll be a nice evening concert for our park. Now, just so I'm, I'm straight on this, is this a free concert? It's absolutely free. Awesome. You you can't get a better price ticket than that. You cannot. The park is open to everybody. The concert. We want everybody in Bruton to come. We want everybody who's coming for reunion time to come. We want you to bring your kids. Bring a picnic. Have a blast. We would love to see the whole town out there. All right. Well, if you have any questions about that, you can get in touch with me at City Hall, 809-1777. If you have any questions about uh, 
scheduling yourself a tube float. Maybe your church or another group that you're involved with is interested in coming down and taking part in some of the wonderful things that we have through Burt Corn Creek and Trail. What's that number, Chris? It is 236-5478. That's in 251 in case you're that in a long-distance That is in 251. Road. So come and be a part of the exciting and fun things that are happening here. We love Bruton, Alabama, and we love to see exciting, fun things happening, and we want you guys to come back and see it too. Thanks a lot for watching. Everybody see if I can do it, you can do it. It's not that hard and it's wonderful. The water feels so good. All you got to do is sit and paddle and it works great. I've been on a lot of creeks and I'm telling you, there's none more fun than Burkhorn Creek. Murder Creek is a lot faster. I paddled down to the point out in there the other day. It's quick. If you like a fun, fast trip, go to Murder Creek. Burt Corn Creek and Trail, give us a call. Call me at City Hall, 809-1777. I can get you set up.